Welcome to SMF Street, home to Main Street, the number one online live entries, live exits, live trading videos on the internet because we run a trading operation here. And SMF Street traders, worldwide traders that are with us, we encourage everyone to get on SMF Street while you have time. Okay? And SMF Street has many programs. You can take our free five day trial. It's on the home page of the website. You've probably seen it in other videos. What we are going to talk about is the uh, Daily Tech Bear 3X. So basically, what SMF Street has said a year ago is that we're taking the GDP. We downgraded the U.S. GDP to 1.5% and lower possibly in 2011, depending on what happens in the elections and whatnot. However, when technology does pour and there are seasonality periods, we just went through the July earnings, which were all good. That's all out of the way. So forward-looking SMF Street traders, what we look at is where we start placing other new trades for longer term structure based on the fact that we're going to be heavily loaded it's the last days of August people will be returning from vacation and right now we put in a low of 42.88 the high was 44.94 that it just set you bought a thousand shares you just made a thousand dollars it's just that simple we're going to focus on the monthly move we're going to take a look at the monthly 2010 trading ranges on the TYP. So when I draw a horizontal trend line right there at this uh, 2010 top, that's $57. Okay? These last tops, the bodies right here, and we're coming down is that I'm going to draw a trend line halfway through the previous month bar. That's the SMF Pro Trader Street bar. And we have a mathematical equation that goes with it. The thing that we're seeing here, we have that big breakout, then we've had this pullback in August. But notice that the monthly bar in August in this X, 3X tech, is that it's not red. People are buying into it and they're doing quite well and with the volatility in the broader market you're going to have some up moves and some down moves it's good for intraday trading it's good to buy it at the lows so basically the 10 month is the, the bearish part of the monthly chart is as follows okay for now is is that the 10 month has been declining that's that blue monthly average moving average and so basically until we close above this trend line half of the SMF Street monthly bar and price action bar this is going to be resistance when you close above it and sit on it at support and the 10 month stops going down but would flatten out on a monthly chart then that means that that would indicate where we would be very aggressive for adding it to the portfolios however in until that day happens we will continue to use this as an intraday hedge against the tech sector because it's a bear so guess what if tech is selling off on lighter volume this is making a nice move up and it's a very nice trader because um, when you look at the weekly chart this is a weekly chart and each one of these are weekly weekly uh, uh, bars the bullish thing about the weekly is I'm above the 10 week it's rising I've got support here here's half of the weekly bar the SMF Street bar price action bar we have formulas that we use in here and basically the 10 week is pointing up that's bullish the 20 week is support so as long as we build weekly consolidations above that trend line there's a lot of room to go up. I'm going to draw a 47.76, which is about $3 above the market. That trend line right there, we have to get up above there. That's the 50-week moving average, but that's half of that SMF 
last double week breakout bar and we have faded back and we put in the bottoms here on a weekly area and basically we're consolidating this big up move and remember July was narrow range August is setting up on the weekly as a bullish breakout maintaining the 20 and the 10 week moving averages and consolidating and once again I don't want to be long tech stocks when the bear is working I want to be shorting stocks like Amazon I want to be shorting stocks like Netflix I want to be shorting stocks like Google I want to be shorting stocks like REM I want to be shorting stocks that are in the NASDAQ 100 which just so happens to be right there and it's down 12 that NASDAQ 100 is selling off this is going to go higher intraday SMF Street traders you can literally ring the cash register daily as you trade against the bull you use this bear and you do it the way that I've taught you and we've done a lot of trades on it and you take advantage of this volatility and you take advantage of this bullish weekly setup it's different than the monthly chart monthly is a much different time frame what happens though <coughs> is that the weekly moves <coughs> show you exactly where these setups and these buys are going to happen so I'm putting a bullish trend right now and here's the other thing SMF Street traders we have to close four weeks above this 10 week moving average because when we close 10 weeks above this weekly moving average let me make sure that you have the full video here when you close four weeks above it that is the SMF bull qualifier trend and SMF Street also has its own proprietary mathematical volume analysis analyzer it's an, it's an analyzer that takes the five day volume the 50-day volume, the 10-day volume, and it analyzes it down. And so basically we'll be talking with our private traders about it, the people who trade SMF Street Capital, meaning that we do assign traders that are in our trading school. We will assign you trading capital as you learn how to use our direct access trading platform that you haven't seen yet. That will come in other videos. We spent 20 years of back testing on that one back to this bear 3x it's tradable intraday and it's bullish on the weekly good luck SMF Street traders I do know that there are people buying it so basically the markets are weak and the bear will go higher 